All right, guys, we got a special guest on the channel. We got Big Jeff from the Disc Golf World. What's going on? Apparently, Big Jeff's my new nickname. We got Big Jeff here. We're gonna do a bag <laughs> swap. Take Couple. it, bro. I've seen a few a few Birdogi videos that you throw a lot of a lot of cool stuff. So we're gonna switch bags. Yeah. And give him this beautiful Berg's Bags V4. A Berg what? Berg Sport V4. That's my disc golf brand. You put your discs the wrong way. I'm about to show you how to throw your discs, big bro. There we go. All right, let's do it. I would suggest a fairway driver. The basket rests up on that ledge up there on the wood, slightly to the left. The other core is more stable, it's clear. Oh, he takes the my best collector's item. Oh, damn, my bad. Don't Keep your eye it. on this. <laughs> All right, Big Jeff, first throw on Iceberg TV. Not good. Oh, he noodle armed it. I it did. did flip up a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and I've thrown almost every disc that exists, so I think <laughs> I should be okay. I got a cookie here. These are pretty stable, right? Yeah. I bagged it for like. Oh, it's a beauty. A nice disc. Oh, it's the Dude. wall. So what what gets Disc Golf World to wake up and grind this out day after day? You guys put out really high quality videos. Uh, well, usually when you wake up at six in the morning in a minivan, it's super. Wait, can I swear on this channel or no? I'll probably bleep you, but go out and let her rip. Okay. Super freaking cold in the morning, so I can't usually feel my toes. So once I wiggle those up, I get the day going because you're not falling back asleep. But yeah, and then I go to the Panera and I sit there for about six hours and I edit whatever video it is that day. After that, we go play around a disc golf and I, I outdrove you. You got lucky. <laughs> I only have one putting putter and it's this pixel. Oh, <laughs> you do not want to putt with the arrow. One time I was in Waco and these like just dropped or Simon's just dropped and I was super hammered. And I told him that his putter felt really gross. And he told me he sold 70,000 of them in a night and I go myself. So there you go. Oh, and they still suck. What am I putting with? Alden Harris? That's a focus and it's Adam Hammes straight from his bag. Oh, that's a confusing stamp. They should, they should change that. <laughs> oh, focus, get in. Oh, it's short. That's short. Are these ones expensive? More right. expensive than this trash. No, that's literally the best that run ever made. That is false. Who is this guy? We'll figure it out right here. Oh, it's a beauty. I missed you, my line by like 10 feet. You parked it though. Nice shot. All right, you said this is a 2021? Yeah. She's stable? No. God, no. It's a flippy firebird. That thing flipped up to straight. That's dope. Yeah, you said, is she stable? I said, no. <sighs> That thing's trash. It's on a fire. <laughs> Whoa. It's, a, it's a Valkyrie. That's my baby. All right. Big Jefferson out drove me by a long ways. I don't even see his disc yet. I'm going to try out his soda here. Going to the par four up the gap. Oh, it's so bad. Get sneaky. Bro, what? Oh. That's cheating. Oh, he's in putting range. Let's go. All right. So oh, he's, he's the, the biggest Berg hater. But what? <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. I got that was one of the first discs I ever bought in my life. Is this and a I still bird have shot? it. I've aced three times with it. Is this one someone would throw a bird? Uh, no, but you can try. How do you not have like an overstable firebird? No, like a putter. Oh, it's the Cenus. No, like a zone or like a, anything a normal person would bag. I think zones are for losers. Well, I don't bag one. I'm just saying a smart person wouldn't bag a Cenus. The, C the Cenus is the disc, dude. That's so tough. What is this? Those feel nice, man. Those aren't bad. No, Good putter. They're money. They're the best putter on the market. There's definitely big style points in putting with a focus. Yeah. Very cool. Hell yeah. This guy bags yeah. basically. He has two sodas, a T-Bird three, but you'll you'll be impressed with my fairway lineup. I think it's I don't a lot of fairway. It's honestly a lot better. T-Bird three. a nice t-bird three. Yeah, oh, at the last the tree ever. i was gonna be absolutely port okay what am i throwing here uh the ken climo's cigarette t-bird cigarette t-bird yeah that's the one does that just not smell like ken climo's breath it does just ripping marlboro reds fucking cowboy killers to the dome <clears throat> oh he did it skip oh weird skip. that's putting yeah we missed those nice one what do you think of my t-bird pretty nice right i was chilling i'm not gonna hate on it it's a stinky one Focus. Dude, those focuses aren't bad. Yeah, they go in the basket. Got a nice little putter there, sir. Did I big putt? 
Big Jefferson, Jeez. that's the question. Big Jeff with the pixel. You have oh. almost no other choice. I said, no, I thought I lost it. I was like, where'd it go? <sighs> oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, Give no. me my putter. All right, I did. I probably should have said it, but we're, we have a rule. You can't throw the same disc more than one time per hole. So I got his red firebird. Now, apparently this is your stable one. Apparently. Does that count? Oh, it's got so lucky. It's all the way up there. So you got to push farther than that? Uh, no, it's uh, probably a little too far straight. You want to be a little more inside. That's my flippy firebird. He's fricked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I told you she's a Valkyrie. That firebird's famous because it's so flippy. What the hell? <laughs> All right. He was, he was in this bush over there. We let him take a drop. Dude, but, you're not supposed to tell the fans that, dude. The but he was forced to throw the arrow when he took that deal. The arrow is one of the least throwable discs in my bag. Very tough. Yeah, it feels gross. It feels gross, but it flies beautiful. We'll test that. <clears throat> I thought oh. she would flip way more than that. That went nice and straight for you, though. That's yeah. good. That was good for your arm speed. And I'm famous for throwing the Berg, and he decides to not throw a Berg and throw the severely more trash approach disc in comparison. You can't call a disc more trash than the Berg. To be I just did. I just did. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> Throw this thing in. Oh, it's so weird. What? I missed my Berg already. You're throwing a Berg on this shot? Yeah. On Easy. forehand? Yeah, I only forehand my Berg. I don't backhand my Berg. Hang it up high and wide on Annie. <sighs> oh, it's perfect. Go in. Park. Dude, I like those focuses. You got the arrow? <clears throat> Come on. Bro. Oh, little more height. All right, we're playing the local tee on this one. The normal tee is like a terrible par three down the hill. We're going to play the big boy tee. Got the halo honey here. <sighs> that should be decent. A uh, little too far. I need to go more. I was you want to go more left? More left than that? Yeah, and I went a little too far straight. Wait, I got the shock here. Shock. Eight speed. That's a new new one to the bag. My friend Daryl gave me that yesterday. Shout out, Daryl. <clears throat> oh, that's, that's going to be so nice. Get through. Oh, my. Big boy. Big Jeff on the death putt. Can he knock it down? This is an eagle putt, folks. Go in. Oh, nice run. Uh, I guess I have to show this one. It's signed by a couple of big dogs. You said Adam Hamez and Connor O'Reilly. Yep. And Mr. Swiss Cheese. Mr. Swiss. Bottom stamp destroyer. Yep. Play Beef dog or straight? Ah, we will see. It feels like a stable guy. Yeah, she's a stable guy. Am I going to the right? No, that was okay. horrendous. Didn't you want to so. be like... 70 feet left of where have I landed. thrown the tangent yet? Is no, a, you have not. And that wait. is a beauty of a disc. Wait, is it 350? Yeah, you probably oh, want a fairway. Slip up fairway. Mm -hmm. You don't like that? I don't want to throw frilogy. Dude, the bravest fire. It's Lad 2, bro. Lad 2 made me take down a video one time. I hate them. Why? Ops for life. Why would they do that to you? I don't know. It's probably a bad video. It was. That disc is good. Is it going to flip up? Yeah. Oh. Perfectly. See? Oh, that much? That's not perfectly. You throw kind of hard, dude. Well, I didn't know what was going on. You're huge. I didn't know what was happening. That's why I would call you Big Jeff. You. All right, I finally found the most fire disc in Jefferson's bag. I got an Emac buzz assist. I've never seen one of these before. Where'd you get this? Shout out Editor Drew. He has the, my homie has the best buzz assist collection in the world. I was going to say, I've never seen one of these. These are pretty rare. Is it flippy? Ah, I should, maybe. <laughs> yeah, oh, I yanked maybe? it. New York Yankees. That is, is a putt, though. I can knock that down with the focus all day long. Is the tangent flippy? Tangent is more flippy than the buzz assess. Oh. Anytime you want to throw the arrow, I'm so down. I just feel like... Dude, yeah. I love that disc. Not because it's good, just because it's historic. <laughs> well, good, because it's not. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's so historic. <laughs> Oh, 
eyes. Buttery smooth. Why don't you turn? You couldn't turn it. All right, I have to see you try the tangent. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, it does turn more than that. I got scared because I couldn't flip an arrow. <laughs> Somehow this Buzz SS like kicked right here. It was a terrible shot. Yeah, he kicked it. He cheated for the camera. Iceberg does that on all his videos. He won't expose you, but 10th here. birdie of the day. Let's go. Yeah, that's my favorite throwing putter. All right, we got two holes to go. Hole 17. Going to test out this nice. You've thrown this quite a bit, McBeast. Uh, Buzz? Uh, that's from Dylan Cease. Oh, did Dylan Cease do this? Yeah, and then I needed a mid-range. And he's like, you can have that. You should. Why didn't you have him sign it? Because it's not his disc, bro. He's mid at disc golf, man. Bro. I'll say that on camera. Dylan Cease? Mid at disc golf. From one Dylan to another, you're fire at baseball. I'll put it that way. Yeah, he can about... strike me out a thousand times in a row. But I think I can get him in disc golf, I'll be honest. But he can get me in baseball. That's parked. You want to do exactly that. What dish should I throw then? Eat your heart out, big deal. <laughs> I'm letting you throw my good old discontinued discs. I'm throwing this Buzz SS. It's a Latitude 64 core, folks. This is a Discraft Buzz SS. I oh, he yanked it. Shut up. <laughs> hey, man, th this is Dylan's buzz. I'd, I wish it was your buzz. I would tell you it's a good disc. But Dylan, <laughs> this is a nice buzz, dude. Absolute park job. That's what it does. That just was horrible. Oh, that's parked. Oh, dude, that thing's really stable, the green one. There you go. I thought that was going to be the beefy one. So that yellow wraith is really stable. That's the beefiest wraith in town. Right? There's a video on this or something, right? No. No? Don't you have I a video I just got on? that. No, I just got then, that. Don't you have a weirdest wraith video? Uh, yeah. That's the uh, blunt nose wraith. You said blunts? The purple one. <clears throat> Told you. Yep. Beefcake. <laughs> All right. Well, what do you think of my discs? Well, I think we've pretty much figured out that my discs are superior it's only one way to test it and we did it right comment below is it the archer or is it the arrow the question is old as time read the comments dude it's always the discs fault let us let us know down below it was fun getting jefferson on the channel if you haven't checked him out go check out the disc golf world i'm sure you've seen one of their videos probably from the clickbait title clickbait titles really nice tournament recaps um condent just a nice condensing of everything pro disc golf I'd way rather watch a 10 to 12 minute Disc Golf World video than an hour long podcast or recap about the exact same thing. So you can get it in, you can get it in quickly. It's very high quality. It's very consistent. You guys are doing a good job over there. So I appreciate your content. Appreciate you having us on. It was, you know, it was fun having you on the channel. I got to whoop up on you a little bit with your own hey, disc. That, I mean, I feel kind of good. But anyway, hopefully we can have you on the channel very soon again. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. See you guys.